but I'm trying to open my rock and roll mind. Plus, the name of the song is Shotgun Boogie. <laughs> I'm like, well, that automatically changes my opinion of that band. Uh, Shotgun Boogie, James Oliver Huberty. I don't know. I have no idea what to expect from a band called Church of Misery with a song called Shotgun Boogie, uh, and it's in a stoner rock playlist. Go fucking figure. So let's find out, shall we? Woo! For more than half of my life, I've dreamed of Ireland. Drawn to it in a way I can't explain. At first it was the obvious. The scenic beauty, the music, the Guinness. Then over time, it became so much more. The vibe, the people, the history. And that's what hooked me. Also, clearly, I am not actually an iron. Too sexy pose. But on yeah. April 1st, 2026, the dream becomes a reality as I close up shop in the Smith Hole and take off on the adventure of my lifetime. Over the course of a year, I'll hike that beautiful island and tell its story, town by town. Each town I stop in, I'll conduct an interview in a pub with people that can tell the story of that particular town while discovering all the things. All the things you're supposed to do in Ireland, then all the things you don't know, like where the locals go. Basically, I'm going to try to make friends with an entire country. And if that goal doesn't sound lofty enough, I'm also going to attempt to learn the Irish language. If you'd like to support the project, basic Patreon support is only $3 a month. And if you're Irish and want to help me network and act as a liaison, hit me up. This is a huge bucket list goal, and I need all the help I can get. The Smitty Learns Irish Pubcast begins April 2026, and I can't wait. Slancha. It is uh, 420 somewhere, man. Time for your 420 break. Ah. Uh, You don't realize how high you're getting till it's too late. I am fucked up out here. <laughs> okay, we're back. I'm back. And now we can get back to the task at hand, which is the 420 break. Uh, stoner rock and or metal reactions. Uh, I'm really trying to to uh, delve into that genre of music and find the gems. Sometimes it's hard sometimes it's hard to find the gems <laughs> in that particular category. Uh, but I'm really not sure how I feel about this yet. Uh, I get all my stoner rock jams unless you suggest something. Throw that in the comment section. You know a good stoner rock tune, man. Throw it my way for a future 420 break. But Church of Misery... From the album Houses of the Unholy, usually I would look at that uh, uh, that band name or album title and go, okay, I'm probably not going to listen to that. But I'm trying to open my rock and roll mind. Plus, the name of the song is Shotgun Boogie. <laughs> I'm like, well, that automatically changes my opinion of that band. Uh, Shotgun Boogie, James Oliver Huberty. I don't know. I have no idea what to expect from a band called Church of Misery with a song called Shotgun Boogie, uh, and it's in a stoner rock playlist. Go fucking figure. So let's find out, shall we? Woo! I'm 
I'm really going through fleeting moments of hatred and love for the vocalist. It's weird. It's I'm enjoying it. I want to tell you that right now. Some cool, like little time changes and things they're fucking with that are pretty cool. It is a gnarly vibe. I'm really enjoying the groove, and vocally, I'm really enjoying it as well. But in like in the space of like ten seconds, like his voice fluctuates. Uh, I was finding myself going, God, it's a really fucking cool, unique voice. And then, oh my God, it sounds like shit. <laughs> that has already left my system by and large. Uh, but it was just funny. It was just, it was battling in there, but is that vocal would fluctuate kind of, uh, wouldn't really stay in one place. And I don't know. I don't even know if I'm know what I'm talking about. You guys. <laughs> Kind of reminds me of fucking Mike Patton a little bit, you guys. A little bit. You know, not necessarily the uh, the tone or the quality of it, you know. It doesn't sound like Mike Patton, but just the uh, characteristics and, you know, maybe doing different things like Mike Patton is able to do. I don't know. Sounds like it could be. Fuck yeah. And, yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry to kill it in the middle of the solo. Sometimes I just do that. <laughs> I'm going to bring it back to the beginning of the fucking solo. Just simply to relive that thing. <laughs> uh, impact moments, man. Sometimes it's a... Ugh. A little more. This fucking song. This is my kind of rock and roll, man. <laughs> Uh, the fucking groove, uh, the tone, that fucking whole breakdown right there uh, is some... I really, really, really think this is a gem of a fucking rock and roll song, man. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this whole fucking thing...
Fuck yes. Absolutely. May I have another, sir? Uh, I'm not on my phone for any other reason. I I did uh, three playlists that I listened to. You know, I have my my own personal Stoner Rock playlist that I added it to. Uh, the uh, uh, Smitty's Rock Radar Stoner playlist on Spotify. Link is in the description of all the stuff I've reacted to. You want to check it out? That's public. And then the what the hell everything playlist that's my own personal everything i fucking love on one playlist and uh, that's going on there forever i fucking love when i find my new favorite rock and roll man so i'm busted my phone out to uh text the bro because that's the fourth thing i did the trifecta playlist but the next thing is you got to text levi because he is a giant music snob and rock and roll and metal snob and way worse than i am <laughs> and i have to text him in this and be like um do this immediately because I want to know exactly what you think about it, hopefully before the end of this fucking live stream, and then I'll edit it, his thoughts onto this fucking thing. Do this immediately. Uh, anyway, that was pretty fucking fantastic, man. Just uh, that's what I love about like stoner rock and metal. They it, it The good stuff just has a way with groove that you're into it and it fucks with you and it just hooks you in. And that, and last part of the song, really, last half of the song, damn near, uh, just that breakdown almost, that those layered vocals can fuck with you in different channels. That's what great stoner rock does too. Uh, so grooving and rocking and smart, smart, s- smart song structures, uh, I feel like. Man, that fucking band was really fun. Saved into the trifecta. We'll find out what the bro thinks later. And that's your 420 break. Eat some Doritos. Chill out and get your ass back to work. Hey. Oh, man. I got the fucking munchies real bad. How about you? Hey, 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 hey. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> hey, hey.